Good morning, students. Welcome to online classes of RPS Group of Schools. Here, we will study Module 2, which is a continued part of the chapter Conservation of Biodiversity. In this module, the learning objectives are forest. What are the various significance of forests? What do we mean by deforestation? We will study the various causes of deforestation, the consequences of deforestation, and lastly, we will know about forest conservation and management. Forest. A forest is a large area dominated by variety of plants and wild animals. It is a dominant terrestrial ecosystem of the earth, also called as nature's lungs. Why are forests important? Forests avoid climate change by absorbing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. Forests are a source of oxygen, food and replenishes groundwater. Forests play a vital role in the water cycle. They work to add water to the atmosphere by the process of transpiration. Forests help to reduce the disastrous effects of floods by acting as a flood water sink. Therefore, reducing the vulnerability of the landmass to the certain natural calamities. The large mass of trees in the forest areas prevents soil erosion by providing mechanical support to the soil and maintain fertility of the soil. Forests are home to over 50% of all the known species on the planet. They account for over 80% of the land-based biodiversity. Forests are also a source of raw materials for many commercially important products such as paper, wood, fabrics, honey, lark, bamboo, rubber, gum, resin, etc. Let's summarize the significance of forest. Let's summarize the significance of forest. Forest maintain the balance in the environment. Forest maintain the ratio between the compositions of oxygen with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Forest control flux and drought conditions in an area. It regulates climatic conditions of a particular area and help in inducing rainfall. Forest prevent soil erosion and maintain soil fertility. It serves as a habitat for innumerable amount of living organisms. It helps in the replenishment of groundwater by increasing absorption capacity of the soil. Forests provide human beings with varieties of products used in daily life. Let's discuss the term deforestation. Deforestation can be defined as the large scale removal of trees from forest or other lands for the facilitation of human activities. It is a serious environmental threat since it can result in the loss of biodiversity and damage to natural habitats. It disturbs the water cycle and leads to soil erosion. Deforestation also contributes to the climate change and global warming. What are the causes of deforestation? Or what are the human activities that cause deforestation? Man-made causes of deforestation are the primary anthropogenic activities, that is, the human activities that contribute to deforestation includes agriculture, 
small scale and large scale farming logging cutting of trees for use to obtain raw materials like furniture paper and fuel mining and urban expansion clearing of forest area for the construction of infrastructure like settlements factories roads dams etc overpopulation and population growth increase the requirement for several resources such as food and infrastructure these all requirements can directly or indirectly result in deforestation what are the natural causes of deforestation in some relatively rare cases the deforestation of forest areas can occur due to natural causes for example volcanic eruptions can burn away the forest lands surrounding the volcano destruction of forest due to hurricanes floods earthquakes landslides severe droughts and other natural calamities invasion of the forest ecosystem by various parasites viral or fungal diseases that destroy the plants and trees forest fires that are sparked by lightning and other natural phenomena it is important to note that natural factors have a very small role in the overall deforestation of the earth's land surface it is actually the anthropogenic or you can say the human activity factors account for almost all of it what are the various consequences of deforestation how does deforestation affect the environment global warming due to deforestation there is an increase in quantity of carbon dioxide causing greenhouse effect thereby increasing the temperature of the earth this is known as global warming moreover it causes harmful effects of skin burning melting of polar ice caps increase of sea water level floods thereby submerging the coastal areas another consequence of deforestation is drought increase in temperature disturbs the water cycle therefore it causes less rainfall disturbed water cycle reduced rains and lowering of water table thus results in a condition of less rainfall causing drought that is a condition when there is a scarcity of water for agriculture or growing crop as well as for drinking flood trees increases water holding capacity of soil moreover it helps to increase ground water level because of deforestation water holding capacity of the soil reduces in the ground and so flow of water from the ground surface reduces thereby lowering ground water level soil erosion and desertification roots of trees holds the top layer of the soil because of deforestation top layer of the soil is removed by water or wind this is known as soil erosion this causes change in nutrient content texture which gradually converts land into desert loss of biodiversity forest provides shelter to various plants and animals by cutting plants humans are disturbing the habitat of various animals due to which life of such plants and animals are in threat this condition leads to loss of wildlife depletion of resources forests provide a variety of essential commodities like food fodder firewood fruits fibers medicines aromatic oils etc even they support tribal people living in the forest deforestation leads to the depletion of these resources let's summarize the consequences of deforestation in a quick heel 
increase in pollution level of the earth, increase in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, increase in temperature or global warming, lowering of the level of groundwater, disturbance in the balance of nature, decrease in the rainfall, decrease in the fertility of soil, increase in the changes of natural calamities such as drought and floods are some basic consequences of deforestation. How can we preserve these forests? Forest conservation, as the name suggests, is the preservation and the protection of forests. It also involves the reversal of deforestation and environmental pollution. The preservation of all natural resources is absolutely essential for the balance of our ecosystem. Controlled deforestation. The foremost method to Conserve the forest are to control the process of deforestation. While deforestation cannot be avoided completely, we must look to control it. Young and immature trees should not be cut as far as possible. We must look to avoid large scale commercial deforestation as well. Adapting practices such as clear cutting or selective cutting will be beneficial in the long run. Protect against forest fires. Forest fires are the most common and deadly cause of loss of forest. They can start due to natural causes or can be accidents caused by man or even intentional in some cases. Once a fire spreads in a forest, it is very difficult to control. So precautions must be taken for such type of incidents making fire lanes, spreading chemicals to control fire, and clearing out dry leaves and trees, etc. are some methods to conserve the forest and to protect against forest fires. Another very important method for conservation of forest is afforestation. This is the process by which we plant more and more trees in the area. We try to increase the forest cover by manual transplantation or fresh plantation of trees. It is an attempt to balance our ecosystem to reduce the effects of deforestation and environmental pollutions of all types. Better farming practices. Slash and burn for farming, overgrazing by cattle, shifting agriculture, are all farming practices that are very much harmful to the environment and particularly to the forest. We must keep all these practices under control. And the last point is general awareness. It is necessary to create an awareness among people for forest conservation through different media and mass movements. One of the program is called One Mahotsav. It is a program of planting saplings of trees. It is celebrated by the forest department and various NGOs throughout India in the first week of July every year. With this, we end up the module two. We'll join you soon. Till then, take good care of yourself, students. Thank you.